Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM Final Mod Pack. In the last episode we had a very successful terror mission and in this episode we are just gonna fast forward time, go until the end of month if nothing else happens and uh, see what kind of missions will get generated for the next month. So let's uh, do that, smoke grenades have arrived. Alloy sword research is finished, okay, it does 50 damage, plus it adds damage from the strength attribute, so like uh, strong soldiers will be able to do 90 to 100 damage basically. This specially crafted sword is a formidable close combat weapon utilizing a soldier's strength and skill to take down even heavily armored foes. Excellent, we'll uh, do definitely some of those. But we do have a Tunlun Terrorist, which I would like to see as well. We haven't seen those guys yet. Okay. Allocate the manufacturing on the alloy sword, of course. That's equipment or weapon. I think it's a weapon. So, alloy sword. Three alien alloys, wow. So we'll take like six swords. Guess that should do nicely. Okay, we'll take one day. Attack doggies have arrived. The swords are finished. And actually, I would like to do some more weapons. I would like to do some more Gauss sniper rifles. We do have a few, but I would like uh, some spare. So let's do 10 more. And everybody seems to be happy with us. Excellent rating, plus one million. This is perfect. Let's click OK. Tunlun Terrorist. Let's view the report. Tunlun's burrow, burrow through the earth by spitting acid to corrode rocks for digestion, then shovel it aside with their flipper-like limbs. Wow. They are used by the Htonites as living burrowing machines to build outposts and bases on Earth. However, their acidic spit makes them perfect terror weapons as well. Luckily, their overall intelligence is well below human. Okay, so they have acid spit, so that's why they are so dangerous. And they are burrowing? I mean, come on, they don't look like they are burrowing anything. Anyway, nice backstory. Do we have any other live aliens? Uh, Tonite Medic? I don't like to research medics because they can give you information about other races and I, and I don't really like that. So... What else? Toxigun, Illyrium Bomb, Laser... Stuff... Small Launcher... Oh, now we can do Small Launcher! Well, hello! That wasn't here before, right? Yeah, the final mod pack has a very strange behavior that uh, in the we can now research a dialogue window, um, it almost never shows what you can research next. So you always have to go through the list and, and find what has appeared in the list. And we definitely do want the small launcher, right? Hmm. Although synthetic muscles and grab modules would be also good for new kinds of armor. Toxigun. Oh, we have ethereal corpse, which we haven't researched yet. So let's let's do that. Okay. First of August. Let's save as beginning of August. Okay, and just like in the previous month, in July, I will have a quick look on the missions which were generated, and if there is something we have seen already, I will replace it with something new. So give me a moment, I'll be right back. And we're back. So, I have uh, looked into the missions and it looks good. We have uh, one... Uh, MIB mission, MIB cover-up mission. I have no idea what that is, but sure will be fun. 
we have uh, a mission which we had already but it was really fun so we will repeat that and that is the MIB hybrid meetup and it was quite a difficult mission so I'm looking forward to that and we have uh, the alien flyby from July it's still going on it has actually pretty long delays and um, the last one is the terror mission we had uh, the muton terror mission generated by the random generator but I have changed it to snake man because we had uh, the muton terror mission already and fighting chrysalids will certainly be more dangerous and maybe somehow in a weird sense also more fun than fighting silacoids and selatids. So let's uh, load this. Now we have instead of mutons the snake men. And uh, let's check if everything is okay. Seems to be fine. So let's go ahead and fast forward time. And we immediately have a UFO 45, it's small, so it's not the MIB mission. Uh, so it's either a flyby or a terror mission. Let's intercept them, just because we can have a look. It is a large scout. Okay, how fast are they? They are very, very slow. So they will probably land. Let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, maybe not. Uh, still slow. Okay. Are you going to land? Yes, they have landed. Okay, and it will be Arctic terrain. Very good. Let's equip the craft, and um, I'll be right back. And we're back, and this time we are not taking any attack dogs, because the XCOM High Command said that we are losing way too many attack dogs and that we are playing carelessly. So we'll be taking only the soldiers, and we'll take some new shiny alloy swords with us, which will be excellent. Uh, so that's fine. Let's actually check also the psionic, not the psionic, the, the melee... Hmm quality of our soldiers. Will that have effect? I think it does have effect on on the miss and hit ratio. So melee accuracy 33, 34. Okay, 34 best so far. Alexis 36, 37 Gavin. Okay, Gavin and Hellraiser I think. And Alexis. Yeah, these guys will have the melee weapon and they were quite strong as well right Gavin 33 not bad and uh, also Alexis yeah he's heavy and Hellraiser is heavy okay these guys will have uh, the alloy sword and I actually want to take the where is it fusion torch as well if we need to plow through the UFO hull. Okay, that will be nice. Let's take our brave crew of 16 soldiers and go to landing site 32. Excellent. I'll equip everybody and be right back. Okay, here we are. So the first two have a primed grenade. Hellraiser has a shiny alloy sword and many other people have it as well. Order Mind is our dedicated fusion torture, just like um, Alexis. He will also carry the sword. He had the best uh, melee skill and also he's very strong, 40, so he should be our primary guy with the sword. Okay, although I don't know how you can actually miss with the sword, I mean... You're standing right next to your opponent, and you have a big sword, you, you can't miss, right? It's a bit strange concept. Okay, that's uh, everybody. Mike will be this time a rocketeer, and has also smoke grenade, just like the assistant. And let's begin. So this is the edge, this is not the edge, this is not the edge, this is not the edge. Okay, we are only over here in the edge. Let's open the doors. 
nothing here really. We'll um, we'll just throw some smoke out as far as we can over there. You guys, okay, maybe we can scout a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Um, well, kill him, 24 only, hmm, well Hellraiser, I had other plans for you, but now you really do have to do this, and please put that on the ground before you try, okay, that was cool, take it back don't actually want smoke inside the craft. Uh, what about you? Nothing else. Okay, give me smoke over here and come back. Yeah, that's fine. You can come closer people, but uh, these four smokes should be enough. Actually, three smokes. Hmm. Yeah, somebody can still come through here. Okay, move aside and Cobalturian. Oh, you can't. What about now? See anyone? No. Okay, come back. Come back. And end um, the turn. Very good. Now let's go. The assistant can spot an alien not facing our way. Look at his backpack. Is that backpack or something else? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, we want to properly scout everything. Oh, there's one more. You just don't have enough. Hmm. Well, I guess it's time for a grenade then. Who has a grenade? Gavin, please tell me you have a grenade. Okay. Very good. Throw it here to Fedora. And come over here, throw it right there, excellent, stay here, in the smoke. So you can't move and we need to start shooting, you need 48, uh, that will not happen I'm afraid, maybe from over here, yeah that happened actually, very good shot Nook. Uh, but not enough. Duck and snapshot. No. So do I need to throw a grenade again? Cobalturian is heavy. Let's prime that. You need 13. Mm, maybe from over here. Turn around, out of range, that will do, that will do Cobalturian, good throw, Hellraiser, you'll go around, see anything, no you don't, order mind, come closer, um, Mike you don't move, I maybe you can look around, don't see anything, face this way, just don't move because he will reaction fire. JG, over here, uh, Alexis, you're a melee combatant, don't move yet, you can't go through here. Okay, just step outside and that's enough for, for now, Tavish. 
and the rest of you just prepare. That's fine. You face this way. Expand your time units. Erbibo and Savior. Okay, Savior over on this side and Erbibo over on this side. I hope there's nobody there. You would see them, right? Yeah. Okay, let's enjoy this. Dead and dead. Okay, Hellraiser, come up. Okay, we were right, there's nobody there. Maybe you can go a little bit further. And throw a smoke. No, not yet. Not yet. Mike, go and check it out in this corner. Nobody there. This guy is dead. He was carrying a plasma rifle. Fish food. Scout duty. Seems okay. Don't want to jinx it, but um, go here. The assistant. You can see someone. Okay. I think that's a job for Nook. Very nice. Step aside. And Tavish. Maybe on this side? No. Assistant. Okay, seems to be safe. We probably should throw another smoke there. But there's like... One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe even seven smoke tiles. Should be okay. Fedora, come closer. Order mine here. Okay, you are exposed. Hellraiser, throw it there. Wow, that was way off. <laughs> that was way off. But it might be enough. Lexis, come over here. Horst, over there. That should be slowly enough. We'll need a couple of snipers up here. So Erbibo, that's your job. And Cobalturian... I can't see it very well. It's just white, so the, the hail goes somewhere over here. You should be able to shoot from this angle, actually. So just move a little bit closer and that's it. Wolfpack. Yeah, come out. Tavish, one step back, actually. Horst is fine, Fishwood is fine, Alexis is fine. Gavin? Gavin, my dear, over here. Fedora, Mike, Assistant, JG. Maybe we need a second sniper. Come up here. Hellraiser, Savior. Yeah, that's also okay. Next turn. Good. This may have helped you. Not from this side, but from this side for sure. And there was nobody. Okay. You'll... I don't know. Go back. That's fine. Then... Uh, assistant. You do have a motion scanner. Come closer and give me a scan. So there's one, two, three, four, somewhere over here. So it should be safe from this side. And we'll try and go maybe through the hull using the fusion torch. So let's go. We'll have to run a lot. We'll lose a lot of energy. Well, I'm, I'm not running actually. I'm just walking, but it still takes a lot of energy. Now we have two guys who can break through the hull. Excellent. No, I think it's safe. You can all move. 
Actually, I should have checked this part as well. Maybe a bit later. Well, the small UFO guys don't have blaster launchers. <laughs> so even if we get a grenade or something, we should not get squad wiped like in the Ethereal mission by one or two blaster launchers. So we can safely move. And it seems like they are in the UFO anyway. So you can go here. You can go here. And you can go there. Okay. Then uh, another sniper we said you can shoot from about there, right? Actually come closer. That's fine. Mike? Okay, maybe you should go and explore over here. There's nothing there. Assistant, JG, oh, Savior, we have forgotten about you. We should really get some flying armor and uh, camp on these uh, wings of the Sky Ranger, the Sky Marshal. For now, it's okay. Next turn. Nobody. Okay, one, two, three, four more in front and on this side. So we'll try to make a hole over here, which that seems to be without aliens this side. Okay, next turn, of course. Uh, Mike. Yeah, this side is also safe. Very good. Um, the assistant stay there okay and we'll move a couple of soldiers teams of four I would say so four over here and four over on the other side actually we have way more soldiers than that but four should be enough one two Maybe I should have sent one of them on the other side and break through the hull on both sides simultaneously. Yeah, that would not be so bad. Come here and come here. We do have snipers on the hill if we need them. Okay. Uh, savior, you can also come here. Next turn. Hmm. So, assistant, there's one, two, three, four, five aliens right to the left of you. So if I break through here, I should see no resistance. No line of fire. What do you mean, no line of fire? Let's do control click. And we're here. Okay. Okay. No resistance. Step aside. Let's do the same here. No line of fire. Okay, control click again. That's cool. That's cool. Um, run over here. Nothing and nothing. Okay. We'll. Um, so this is open. Let's go and open it from the other side too. Because we know they are there, right? So one, two, three soldiers like this. That should be enough. Wolfpack, just peek around the corner. Actually, it's about, I don't know, six right one two three four five six so they should be inside they should be inside i do not have any proxy grenades now they will be useful tavish just prime this one in case we need it later and uh, we'll probably break through some other place maybe over here 
Yeah. Come here. Nook. There. Step out of the smoke, please. And Cobalturian. Maybe we can uh, use a sniper as well. From all the way over here. And you can go back. That's good. Okay. This should make things a lot, a lot easier with the fusion torches. One, two, three, four, five, six aliens to the left of me. Wow. Wow. Maybe I should just go there and throw a grenade. Who has a grenade? You don't have a grenade, but Tavish has. Tavish, throw it to this guy. Unable to throw there. What do you even mean by that? Throw it here. Excellent. Wolf pack. Pick it up. You need uh, 16 to throw. This might be enough. Open the doors. Wow. <laughs> and uh, throw it over here. And step aside. Yeah, these guys will definitely die. And uh, hopefully the wall will protect us. You need to come closer. We'll uh, break through the other wall as well. And maybe you can even do that. Let's have a look. Okay, I still need to control click. And this time it didn't work. Wow. That's unexpected. Who has a scanner? Fedora. No. Gavin? No. Somebody here sure had a scanner. Maybe not. Horst? No. Tavish? Yes, Tavish has a scanner. You should probably throw it over here to someone. Where is it? On the ground. Pick it up. And scan. Yeah, that's us, that's them. So to the left and forward. Probably here. You are in danger, Wolfpack. You know that, right? Horst, come and help. And Tavish, come and help. You can stay here. And you will be burning a hole through the hull very soon. Yeah. They are dead. And this doesn't look good. Wow. Wolfpack, you're a hero. We'll take this guy alive. He has a laser gun. We are not afraid of that. Let's try to make another hole. Um, didn't work again. Maybe over here. Why doesn't it work? Hmm. That's strange. That should work. That should work. Horst? I know. I know you see him. Just stun him. Oh, that's not good. Well, he was shooting already. So he's probably out of time units. This didn't help. <laughs> Come on, do you have something? Yes, you do. Well, you face tanked already. Some damage. And that will help. Okay. Tavish. 27, that's not gonna be enough. There's one guy right there. And we couldn't stun him. Okay, that was way too much. I shouldn't have done that. Face this way, Horst. And Wolfpack, face that way too. If we can, 27. We will try to kill him if he decides to come out. Yeah, that was really bad. Why did I do that? Man, 
Why did I do that? Oops. Kill. No line of fire. Um, Mike. A rocket is not a good idea. Fish food face this way. Oh, you can see actually two. And they have... One had a green backpack and this one has a blue backpack. I'm confused. Okay, well, they are dead anyway. And this guy will be dead as well. If I can do something about it. Let's just do a snapshot. Okay, that's fine. Gavin, you too. Just a snapshot. That's fine. They might be panicking already. Like this guy, that would be nice. Um, yeah, there's nobody there. Stay here. Actually, turn around, give me a scan. Okay, so that's us. That's us. Maybe this is the last one. Mike, check the rest. Nothing. Okay. Assistant. You know what? Maybe you can try too. I have no idea why it didn't work. Take that. You need 38. Turn around and drill. Didn't work. Why doesn't it work? It worked so nicely here. Hmm. Okay. There's no hole in the ship, so we can't shoot them from afar. Savior. Come closer. Order mind. Face this way. Cobalturian also cannot do anything. Yeah, Wolfpack, you're on your own, I guess. You are on your own. Next turn. And the guy probably panicked. Yeah, let's take him alive. Yeah, that's the last one. Okay, live aliens recovered two. That's not bad. Who did we get? Snake man, snake man, soldier, two soldiers, and I don't see any more snake men. Am I blind? Sectoid, anthropod, two soldiers, floater, tonite, hybrid, tonite, hybrid, tonite, tunlun, ethereal, ethereal. Okay, so we got three alive, but somehow only two survived. <laughs> I don't get it. Or maybe they are not. Uh, no, they must be already there. This was the first Snake Man mission. I have no idea. Chaos Rifles are finished. Let's actually do also some more ammo for the for them. Gauss Rifle, Gauss Sniper Rifle Clip. Yeah, that's what we need. Let's do like 15. And um, yeah, it's been 35 minutes almost. So let's save as part 59. It's the end of it. And when we come back, we'll um, probably go on some MIB missions, because they also tend to appear very early. Anyway, thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye bye.